Peace, love, light of healing, peace, love, light of healing, peace to the gods, peace to the earth, y'all. Climb on in. Climb in the building. Late night Q&A with y'all key talks. Y'all key awaken. Climb on in. Peace, 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 love, light of healing, gods and goddesses. Climb on in the building. Y'all been looking for me. Everybody been like, why ain't you been live on uh, IG? I went live on my YouTube the other day, you know, traveling around, doing this work. Shalom, shalom, laka aki. Shalom, malek, how you feeling? Shalom, shalom, mishpati, my family. Blessings, blessings, y'all climb on in. What are your suggestions on becoming a master herbalist? Uh, I have my own school now. Uh, yes, I own my own accredited school. So y'all be able to be uh, certified under me. So if you want to be a master herbalist, you got to go through our curriculum and stuff. We're going to be rolling it out in what, about two weeks? Yes, sir. Uh, the course is done. We just need to roll it out. And uh, that's how you do that. So that'll be ready soon. That'll actually be ready before my book, y'all. Uh, we almost at 800,000 organic followers, y'all. We are almost at 800,000 organic followers. So uh, it's a lot of new followers that's coming over here for the content. You know, they've been seeing the content, been liking the content, and they've been following. So I just want to reintroduce myself to y'all my name is yakai rafa elohim uh everybody call me yaki awaken i am a certified biochemist i am now uh i now have my phd in natural science and health i'm a master herbalist anything to do with the natural healing methodology of the body that's what i do uh and the message i push is disease is illusion and i talk a lot about why i believe that and how i prove that uh day in and day out uh, I was younger, around 21. I had a heart attack. I suffered from uh, scar tissue on my heart. My kidneys was failing. I had fatty liver disease. I had toenail fungus, fingernail fungus. I had diabetes, erectile dysfunction because of the uh, medicine I was taking for high blood pressure. Like I was super, super messed up, y'all. And uh, I ended up healing myself and how I healed myself was I went on a 120 day juice fast with the very geogenetic juice that I'm teaching y'all to drink and I took some herbal concoctions that I, I mixed up uh, for myself after I went through my herbology uh, courses so I did that man and I I healed my body I lost literally everybody be thinking I'm lying but when I say this I mean it I lost 60 pounds in eight days y'all I had saggy skin. I had to go after my thyroid to tighten up my skin. I was messed up. I had hemorrhoids for like four months because I was pooping so much. <laughs> I mean, I was really, really, really uh, messed up. And uh, yeah, after I healed myself, I healed a few people in my family. I healed my mama of high blood pressure and things she had going on. Then later on, went on to my sister. And then from there, I started healing people that was a part of the gang I used to be with. And then it went all throughout St. Louis. And then I ended up getting in contact uh, with a ba basketball player, a national basketball player, and I ended up healing him of herpes. And once I healed him of herpes, he gave me a lot of money, and he paid for my first lecture and first seminar. And uh, that's when it took off. So now y'all see me, but uh, I, I didn't used to be this way. I didn't used to look this way. I didn't know none of the knowledge that I know now. I was just like a lot of y'all that was sick looking for healing, man. And I took healing into my own hands. I stopped taking pharmaceutical medicines that was given to me by the doctor because the side effects was messing me up. And man, now we here, you know, many, many, many years later. We talking about 2009, y'all. It's 2024. And I literally been doing this since. So we got a lot of skin in the game. We got a, a, a lot of years in the game. Uh, clinical trials. I have my own clinics. I have my own storefront. We moved the storefront to the south side for those that keep coming on Dunn Road. It's not there no more. I know my big sign is still up, but that store is uh, not open. Uh, we travel around. We do healing homes. We got a bunch of healing testimonies. Uh, we, we are actually partnered with over seven accredited laboratories uh, throughout the United States. Uh, I'm very, very, I have a very, very close and personal relationship with the University of Illinois Laboratory. So, you know, we do a lot of work, y'all. So that's me. I appreciate y'all for following, for listening to the content. And yes, that's what I had to say. Uh, so we got a clinic actually on the south side of St. Louis. It's a clinic in Houston. And we're trying to open up another clinic right now in uh, Atlanta as we speak. So them or the 
the, so the one official clinic that is actually up and running right now is in the south side of St. Louis. Uh, connected to that clinic, we have a 15,000 square feet warehouse where we do all of our herbal products. And then on the other side, uh, we do a bunch of the studio stuff. But I just got another building. How long ago that be? Well, just signed a lease last week. Yeah, I just signed a lease last week to another building, and that's where we're going to be doing our actually studio at. So we're going to make the clinic uh, much bigger. Uh, we've been hiring a lot of employees to get better with our customer service. I mean, we doing, we've been doing a lot of stuff. So, you know, we're a growing business, and it's a family business. So, you know, we're learning as we go, especially like with ordering and shipping out products and stuff like that. And damn, most of our products is made once you order, we make it for you. So, you know, to, to guarantee the potency for one, to keep the integrity of the herbs. Then we have to send samples off to the laboratory to make sure that they ain't no herbal size, insecticides and pesticides on it. Because a lot of people say that they are organic, but they still be having stuff like that on them. So we make sure we do that as well. Yeah, but look, I want to answer some questions, y'all. Nah, so yeah, we, we super legit. Yeah, about that too. So, uh, and I wanted to, I wanted to give a shout out and an apology, y'all. A shout out and an apology. I wanted to apologize to all of my followers and all of my people. I did a live the other day. Uh, we was talking about celery and we was talking about lemons and uh, amygdala. And I went online uh, and I through my live I said something that I was wrong about. I said that there was no Google or scholarly articles that said that stated. Amygdala was inside of celery. All right, I was wrong about that. Uh, two people plus the dude that I did the video on all showed me at least one to two articles that actually showed celery with amygdala in it. Now, was the sources credible? I seen one that had a credible source, but when I checked that source, that was pretty kind of iffy. But I did state this though. I said that there wasn't any amygdala in celery and you couldn't find one article that stated that. And I was wrong. I was wrong. Three people sent me an actual article that did state that. Now, I'm not going to sit on here and argue back on whether the source was credible or not, because that don't matter. What came out of my mouth was something. Somebody showed me something else that proved me wrong. So as a man of my word, as a person that teach health, and as a person that must remain humble and a student is always a teacher and a teacher is always a student, I have to come forth and I have to say what it is. So I was wrong in that particular statement, y'all. Now, as far as my juice, is my juice causing cyanide poisoning? Not only no, nah, but hell no. Nah. Thousands of people on the juice right now. Hundreds of thousands been on the juice since I healed myself from the juice. If y'all go look at my video of the juice, there's Hundreds of people on there saying the benefits and what the juice is doing for them. And again, I heal myself from the juice and I have major healing testimonies off the juice as well. And I have not had one case, one case of so-called cyanide poison. So, but for my fans though, for my fans, for the ones who follow me, for my support system, I am never, never too proud or too prideful to apologize to y'all. You know, because y'all trust me with the information. And since y'all do trust me the way y'all do, whenever I am wrong and I'm proven wrong, I have to go to the same people that I that I did the information wrong to and correct that. So I'm here correcting the information. And I'm going to say it one more time and then we're going to move on. I said in a video that there wasn't one scholarly or Google article that, that proved that amygdala was in celery and I was wrong. And shots out. To the three people that actually showed me those articles and one of those was the actual dude which i'm not gonna mention his name because his intentions and everything was wrong with him putting the video out with me in it anyway so i would never mention his name and give him that type of power but hey he was actually right and that's what it is now before we get into the questions and answers i know a lot of y'all want to see why i do what i do and why i speak so highly of myself and why i'm so confident whenever I am speaking information. And this is why. When I say I have healing testimonies, I don't be lying. I've been showing y'all these healing testimonies for many, many years. Uh, and I'm gonna keep showing y'all this. We have thousands of new ones, but they own Yaki TV and Yaki TV is not released yet. So I just choose to show the same ones. Y'all can go to my Rumble account. It's the one that got uh, 9,025 uh, 9,020, uh, 250 followers. 
And if you can see, we got one right here where I healed a woman. Well, her body healed herself. That's another thing I'm going to quit doing. I'm going to quit saying that I healed. Because the only thing I did was facilitated the healing by offering the body the, the, the conditions for the cells to thrive in and detoxify. So I'm going to say I help detoxify the body because the body is a healer of itself. And I feel like we should quit taking credit for other people's healing testimonies. Because whenever you get on the herbs that I give you or you get on a diet that I give you, you the one that's really doing the work. I'm just showing you the way. And then your cells and your body is creating and kicking on NRF2 pathways, the metabolic way. Waste is starting to be released by the lymphatic system. That's all the work that your body is doing naturally. So we are not healing nothing. There is no healer on this earth. Your body is its own healer. You just have people that have the right intellect and knowledge to facilitate the healing by giving you the herbs, giving you the therapy, giving you the protocols and writing out the certain dietary mission or supplement that you need to be on. So I will say this. I have facilitated thousands and thousands of healings, y'all. I've been doing this since since a long time so uh just look at the, and these things are proven you can look this stuff yourself and these are people showing paperwork and speaking for themselves y'all i didn't coerce them into doing this i never paid nobody to do this these are people that get healed and call me hey my herpes is gone i want to do a live testimony my son liver cancer is gone i want to do a live testimony you know my brain cancer and pituitary tumor is gone i want to do a live testimony and and, and it's so many of them y'all so for anybody that ever doubt my uh my abilities to help facilitating in healing here go proof right here and y'all can y'all can look this stuff up y'all can look this stuff up so uh this is one right here and this is just talking about yaki uh herbal therapy heal cervical cancer y'all can go and look this up she's speaking for herself there's one of them uh, here go another one. This is one of my favorite testimonies ever. Uh, I helped a six-year-old. Uh, he had thyroid cancer and his liver was messed up because they stayed by a, a chemical complex and everybody around there was dying of cancer because they was around this, basically this, this nuclear waste center and a bunch of the whole neighborhood had caught cancer. And uh, I knew the mother, we had healed her of some different, uh, well, I can't say we healed her. Her body healed itself of some different issues she was going through and we helped facilitate that healing and gave her the herbs and gave her the diet and her son ended up getting uh cancer and man we completely got it gone man completely gone this is a very very good one we actually going to visit them hopefully we can visit them tomorrow since we out here okay. hit them up let's let's go visit them so i can do an update on them but that's a six-year-old boy y'all can y'all can google this and look it up we got his picture his face his papers testimonies and everything that no longer have uh cancer and this plenty of these, y'all. I mean, plenty. This another one uh, where we healed a 21. Well, I can't say we healed. I'm trying to change that. And the reason why I'm trying to change these words, I'm trying to change what's going on in the healing community, y'all. I really am. Like, we all messed up. We all fighting one another. We all bickering about one another, putting each other down. So I'm trying to change that. But this is uh, the creepy crawl of herpes, a real detoxification. This is another healing testimony uh, of a... Right here? Of a woman and her right face now. is in here as well. She show her papers as well. Of Let's skip this. Here's the truth about the coming food crisis. This might be your only. We finna get to it, y'all. I just want to show y'all some things before we get here. So where's she at? You go to all of this, y'all. So this, so this showing her blood work, paperwork. She's actually in here too. That's that's the six year old right there that got rid of the cancer. I mean, it's so many testimonies, y'all. Uh, what else we got? I mean, there's so many of them. And then if you go on to my YouTube, uh, this is a, a basketball player by the name of Phil Kofer. Shouts out to this brother. And all, everybody I'm showing took my, everybody I'm showing y'all healed off of my geogenetic juice and my herbal remedy. Everybody. So anybody you see, they had the juice. They mixed the celery with the lemons and the cistric and nobody died. They actually healed. Ironically. Hmm. But uh, this is Phil Crawford, his testimony. Be, I guess not even really a skip in a beat. I don't even know how to explain, but yeah, if anybody had a heart palpation before, yeah. I was and he had thyroid issues, very bad thyroid issues. He's completely healed. He's doing amazing now. He's actually showing y'all how to juice now. He's showing y'all how to live now, everything. And y'all need to follow his channel, Phil Kofer, man. A, a very, very, very intelligent, uh, humble, down-to-earth down young brother. So check him out as well. 
you know, and he tells y'all, here go a diabetes one that we got, that we uh, helped get rid of. I'm on so, cure my diabetes. It helped a lot of people who had this disease. That man helped me change my life. I've been on the alkaline diet for 18 months. I cured my diabetes from y'all key. I am. You see, I cured my diabetes from y'all key. So many of them, y'all. Here go another him. diabetes one. I have been blessed by him. I've, I've gotten healed through him. And these people are, these are people coming forth at my seminars and lectures. You know, we sell out every lecture, every seminar that we do at the HBCUs and in the college settings. Hundreds of people come forth and give their testimony on how they had cancer, how they had diabetes, heart disease, so many different things and, and don't have it no more. The man called me, he was like, this is another lady oh, with herpes. Got, uh, herpes. Um, a lot of people don't have so we can keep there go her her paperwork right there showing she had herpes and she don't have it no more okay they said they see it now all right so really works so i ended up talking on the phone with him like i said and i just flat out told him all my symptoms i said yo this is happening this this was been going on and it was instantly one of those things go another lady. lady so as like it was like ding 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 hi my friends how you doing so as many of you know, a year ago, I almost died. I had a heart attack. My kidneys were failing. My liver and my pancreas were not working. I was diagnosed with diabetes and I was on about five, four to five shots of insulin a day. And this is a type one diabetes healing testimony. She was on four or five shots a day. That's a lot of units, and she's not on none of that anymore. Uh, she changed her life around. She had a heart attack, so it's a bunch of healing testimonies. Um, I was depressed. You know, I was in a lot of pain. I had um, severe inflammation. It was horrible. Um, I found... And we can keep going, y'all. They are here. So hey, I just yeah, wanted to show y'all that, but this is on my... Uh, it's on my YouTube page, y'all. On my YouTube page, we post a bunch of healing testimonies, but y'all just don't be watching them. So I see a lot of people like, Negro, where's your healing testimonies? There's hundreds of them on my page. Y'all just got to go through the stuff. I'm talking about hundreds of them from uh, a, a lady. She had HIV. That's gone. On my page, y'all. Another one had hepatitis B. That's gone. That's on my page. This stuff been on my page, and I've been posting this stuff for years. L lupus, we get rid of that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Lupus is just an inflammatory uh, disease that you really call metabolic acidosis. So I'm just showing everybody that's now, you know, starting to follow me because I got a very, the, the following is just, is, is going crazy. I just wanted to show people that, hey, we really do this in real life. So if y'all ready to get this started, get y'all pens and pads. We got a bunch of questions, and then I'm going to be uh, letting people join the calls. I think I'm going to do about four questions, then I'll let people join in, and y'all can ask questions here on this live. Type in some nines, and we can get it started. Yeah, literally. They're the only thing that I haven't been able to help get rid of, and the reason why I'm saying help, because the body heals itself, I just help facilitate it, is blindness, y'all. I mean, blindness blindness that's i mean that's about it and i've been how many people we done worked on on it and we do it for free yeah. i just i ain't I, I just ain't got to that point yet you know and usually it's a, a detached retina the octave nerve is completely damaged and pulled away from the eye and it's something like that so i'm trying to find out how to regenerate those nerve cells there you know and regenerate those myelin sheath cells there to get it to form back to the back of the eye and i haven't done it yet but the, other than that y'all i mean there is nothing that i have come across other than that uh that we haven't been able to to uh, eradicate from the body now it have been a few cases where they are past the point of no return and they're in a chronic very very degenerative state and you know you can't do nothing about it because they so far gone but other than that man i mean it's pretty it's pretty easy all right so first question y'all make sure y'all got y'all pens and y'all pass and let's get to it it says hi sir i need your help i have a problem i am 32 years old of age and i have weak urine flow so automatically if you tell me that you have weak urine flow, I'm thinking about the PSI that's coming from your urethra and your pelvic floor. So this shows me automatically that you have a weak pelvic floor and you can have a weak pelvic floor due to a bunch of things. The first thing I'm thinking about is a swollen prostate. Now, if is the prostate swollen or is the bladder obstructed? Is the pump that's in the bladder obstructed or is something going on your, with your urinary tract or what you call the tubes or the urethra? 
There's a lot of different things that we got to check here, but let's keep reading and see if we can find something or slim something down. It says, hi, sir. I need your help. I have a problem. I'm 32 years old. I have a weak urine flow. And when I try to use the bathroom or do the number two, my anus swells up. Okay, so we got a swollen anus. My anus swells up and it becomes hard for me to release and it hurts. So now I know for a fact that you got hemorrhoids too. So you got hemorrhoids and you have a sw something, you have a obstruction in your urinary tract. It says, if you can please tell me anything, uh, can you please tell me anything or I can try anything to heal my body, please get back to me ASAP. So the first thing we have to do is we have to examine the whole entire urinary system and urinary tract. And we got to find out where it's coming from. And there's a few things that you can do. What I would do is I would go get a prostate check and uh, get a PSA, a specific, uh, a specific prostate antigen check to just really check and make sure that your prostate is not swollen or it has some type of itis or even can have some cancerous mutating cells there. The next thing you need to do is check to see if you got a bladder inf uh, infect uh, infection. And you also need to check to see if you got a urinary tract infection because we all can get all of those things. But what I want to do is I'm going to pull up a, a chart and we can go through the anatomy of the urinary tract system of a man. And we can we can start doing the process of elimination. So let's do it. Let's do it. So the first thing I want to show you is a healthy prostate. So if you look. This is the urethra, this red tube that's coming through. These are the testicles. Everybody know that. These are the testicle tubes. Now, if you look at the urethra, the urethra starts at the tip of the penis, is coming through the penis shaft, and then it's going actually inside of the body. Once it gets inside the body, deep inside, you see this little wall. It looked like a walnut. It's actually shaped uh, like a walnut, too, and it's about the size of a walnut. And look at it. It's actually between, I mean, it's actually around the actual urethra. And they, once it, once it passes here, they start calling it the tubes. So the prostate, if the prostate get, gets swollen, it can actually swollen, it can actually close this urethra. And that'll actually pinch and stop the PSI or the pressure from actually pushing urine through the tube. Y'all see what's exactly over the prostate is the actual bladder. So if you have a obstruction in the bladder or if you have inflammation in the bladder due to acidosis, this inflammation can cause swelling or isolation of the cells. And this, this can actually stop urination from coming down. So that's, a, that's what you would call a bladder infection. And that means a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of bacteria is inside of the bladder when it's not supposed to be there. But you got to ask yourself a question. Why is the actual bladder infected with bacteria or over-culturalized bacteria? The bacteria is only in the body, localizing the body for a specific reason and one reason only, and that's to eat acid. So whenever you have metabolic acidosis building up in the tissues of the body, God, the creator, created certain types of bacteria to come keep those acids or that pH potential hydrogen at bay. So if you got acids that's building up inside the the bladder or building up inside the prostate, the first thing that's going to happen is inflammation. Within that inflammation, that increases circulation, the circulation of the, of the interstitial fluid of the body. So what happens is pockets of bacteria will start coming into the bloodstream. Nutrition will start coming into the bloodstream and then going to those specific areas to rebuild the tissue there. Well, once it gets there and the bacteria see that it's an acid problem, they'll pleomorphize themselves and culturalize themselves and produce more bacteria so they can start eating up all the acids. So in order, so what a lot of people would do is if you go to the doctors, they will give you a pharmaceutical drug called antibiotics. And the reason why they give you an antibiotic is because it's against life, meaning it will kill the bacteria, but they're not going after the root cause. The root cause is the acidosis. So how to change acidosis is to stop bringing in acid forming chemistry to the body and letting the bacteria eat the acids up. And then once they get done eating the acids and there's no more acids to eat, what they do is they pleomorphize themselves back into the glandule of the cells and then you won't see them no more. So I'm going to turn this back around. So you could have an infection in your bladder. Now, how you know if you have an infection in your bladder? All you have to do is feel in your lower abdomen right here. If you feel in your lower abdomen and you dig in there and it's very, very painful, that means it's super inflamed and that means the instruction might be coming from the, uh, the bladder. 
All right. The next thing is it might be an actual swelling prostate because if the prostate again swells up, once it get bigger, it actually clamps down on the urethra tube and that's going to stop you from using it or urinating as well or urinating as well so and the best way to check your prostate is going to get it checked now some doctors like to manually check it where they stick their finger up your butt me personally i don't recommend you know you having a male doctor coming to check your prostate and sticking his finger up your butt so i say get your blood checked and just check your psa levels your prostate specific antigens and see your numbers on there uh it's supposed to be at a 0.1 now since so many males have high prostate numbers and prostate cancer it's like number one amongst black males now they brought it up to literally 1.3 or I mean, uh, yeah, no, 3.1, 3.1 now is average when five years ago, 3.1 mean is actually meant that you had uh prostate cancer. So just get your prostate checked. All right. So get your prostate checked. Now there are things that you can actually do to fix this issue, but let's see if he had anything else going, going on. He didn't. So I'm gonna show y'all how to fix this. So since you got these things going on and you do have them hemorrhoid problems going on, and you got all this inflammation. It's it's a bunch of things that can be going on here. For one, testosterone. When your levels, it's called androgens. So when your androgens get out of whack and your hormones get out of whack, we all know that the actual sexual hormone chemistry of the body is created by the pituitary gland. So the pituitary gland actually regulates the hormones of males and females. Like for instance, in a female, you have uh, what you would call prolactin. Prolactin actually is produced by the actual pituitary gland. You have oxytocin. Oxytocin is produced by the pituitary gland. Uh, you have estrogen. Estrogen is produced by the pituitary gland. And these are actually what you will call cholesterol converted hormones. So without cholesterol, it's impossible to convert sexual chemistry or sexual hormones. That's why people with low cholesterol count either die or they infertile and they can't reproduce because you cannot get any of your sexual hormones without cholesterol and it being converted through the sun by way of vitamin uh mineral it ain't a mineral vitamin d or what which is another hormone y'all so when you start looking at the male sexual organs the pituitary produces three things testosterone dihydrotestosterone and dihydroepiandrosterone and if these become imbalanced or out of whack, whack or you're bringing in too much estrogen what you would do is you will have an imbalance in hormones and that imbalance in hormones will actually send a growth hormone to the actual prostate gland and grow the prostate gland and when the prostate gland grows, it becomes swollen because now it's in some pocket of tissues that it's not supposed to be in. So this is going to send an inflammatory response throughout the body. They call it an immunological response or immune system response. I'm going to call it a lymphatic defense response. So as soon as that lymphatic defense response come you got t cells b cells you got all these helper cells you got phagocyte tissues coming in once all these come in they start banging and going to war with inflammation and acids and then this causes more swelling and this literally it swells up and it pinches the urethra and now it's hard for you to pee or you have frequent urinary uh problems at night where when you get up at night you can't help but to pee and then when you finally is able to pee, you ain't got no PSI. You don't have no pound square per inch. You don't have no pressure per inch because yo. And then when you peeing, you it's hard to get it out. And then you putting your penis back into your drawers too quick. So then you start dribbling or what you would call literally peeing on yourself, where you dripping out of your hole because you your your walls and your tissues and your muscles and your fibers and your penis is not strong enough to hold the actual urinary uh liquids inside of the tract. Now, it's a bunch of ways to get rid of this, though. The first thing you need to do is pelvic floor exercises. So I will Google a pelvic floor exercise for you, and you can, and you can do this. So let me Google a pelvic floor exercise, and this will be very good for you. Hold on. Male pelvic floor exercise. So this is a good one right here, y'all. Let me change the camera. So this is a great pelvic floor exercise. It's strengthening up those muscles. That's one of them. Let's do another one. These are all pelvic floor exercises. And what you got to do is just go on YouTube. YouTube have so many free exercises you can do. 
Yeah, the, yeah, the Kegel exercise is super good too, and they help you hold your urine in. So let's just see if he's gonna do a quick one for us. And all these are good exercises. So just get on there and Google those, and them are super, super good for you. All right, so pelvic floor exercise is good. Uh, make sure that you get off of all caffeine. Uh, caffeine is a diuretic, and if you have if you have a, a urinary tract infection, and if it's hard for you to actually urine, since caffeine is a diuretic, it's gonna try to make you urine more, which is gonna build up more pressure because you're so swollen. So then you're gonna back and fill up the actual bladder even more. And there's a difference between a bladder and a gallbladder, y'all. The gallbladder holds your bowel. The regular bowel holds your secretion of your urine, or what you would call metabolic waste. So we're talking about the bladder that's connected to the urinary tract system and not the gallbladder, which is connected to the actual uh, uh, pancreas and liver in small duodenum intestinal tract or what they will call the small uh, digestional tract of the stomach. So we talking about the actual bladder. So that's good. So we have to do the exercises, uh, Kegel exercises. This strengthening and trying to hold your pee even when you don't have to pee. This actually uh, strengthens up the fibers and the muscles of the actual penis. Getting off of all caffeine. Also get off of red meat. Red meat is actually full of what you will call heterocyclic amines. Heterocyclic amines or what they call uh, HCA is actually bad for the prostate because it forms a bunch of proteins and these proteins are very very acidic to the body and i don't know why but the first thing it does is it swells up the prostate and we can look that up as well let's look this up real quick too i just want to show y'all all of this stuff for y'all selves and y'all can all google this stuff y'all selves or y'all can uh search for scholarly articles or play pay a monthly subscriptions for the institutes and they will give you this stuff y'all uh, heterocyclic hca and prostate Prostate enlargement. And it's all here, y'all. It's taking me to HCA, Florida. Let me spell it out. Heterocyclic amines causes prostate enlargement. So here it go right here. And this is an article right here y'all can read that I print this up. And this is by the National Library of Medicine. Uh, where is the article number at? All right, so this is going to be article number PMC35523888. And it's just basically talking about inflammation in the prostate of carcinogens. And it's talking about heterocyclic amines in red meat. And y'all can look this up. So the first thing I'm going to do to get anybody from to basically to keep your prostate from swelling or becoming a uh, mutation cancerous cells is I'm going to tell you to get off of all meat. But specifically, make sure you get off of red meat because heterocyclic amines is basically a hydrocarbon is when you cook your food and you cook your food and you put that char on there. It's actually cancerous causing charcoal that's created from you from you cooking that meat and it's called heterocyclic amine hydrocarbons which is very very cancerous causing so we can cross that out the next one is i was talking about doing the kill the pelvic uh, floor squeezes all right and then make sure you sitting down when you're urinating when you sit down when you're urinating this reacts it relaxes the abdominal walls and re it relaxes your anus and you don't have to put so much pressure on the bladder or on the urethra so when you urinating sit down and breathe while you pee. this will actually open up those flows for you and you can get more out and i'm pretty sure it's pretty painful and then as far as your actual uh hemorrhoids hydration Hydration is very, very good for hemorrhoids. If I was you, I'll increase my liquid intake to about 50 ounces of spring water a day. Uh, I wouldn't do too many juices. I wouldn't do too many juices because when you do do the juices, the juices become a super, super diuretic. And then that super diuretic, again, it creates that, that PSI. And then you got all of this stuff in your, in your bladder that you can't get out because you got that swelling going on there. And it's going to start backing up anymore. And then you can get a stomach lining infection. And then you actually need to get checked, though. So go get checked. Have them check your prostate. Have them do an infection check on you to make sure that you don't have an affected urinary uh, tract. If you don't have an affected urinary tract, check the bladder. See if you got a bladder infection. If it was me. I would not take any of the antibiotics because you actually need those microorganisms and those, gut, and those good gut bacteria to rebuild your structure and to keep you healthy. I will actually take the healthy way out. Uh, saw palmetto berries is very, very good for the prostate. So get you some uh, saw palmetto berries. That's good for the prostate. Another thing is stingy nettle root. Stingy nettle root and stingy nettle leaf is very, very good for the prostate as well. Uh, another one is uh, 
uh, marshmallow root. Marshmallow root is good for the prostate because marshmallow root is one of your highly anti-inflammatory herbs on the planet. Another one is called corn silk ears. Corn silk ears is my number two when it comes to anti-inflammatory herbs, the purple corn silk ears. And it's literally the ears of a corn, but make sure it's purple. That's very good for you as well. And then the last one is uh, white willow bark. White willow bark is good as well. So take these herbs. I wouldn't do them as capsules. I actually do them as teas. And look, you'll be okay. And then if you need to get the essential glandular kit off the site, go get that. And it'll help you regulate your hormones better. You need to regulate your hormones because swelling prostates is a dis, it's basically a, a, a unregulated hormone issue in black males and in women. So when women go through their uh, menopause, when women go through ovarian cancer, when women go through uh, POS, PCOS, when they go through their fibroids, that's an imbalance in hormones as well due to the same system, which is the pituitary gland. So that's what we're going through. And there's new studies coming out now, y'all, that's showing that prostate swelling is not due to old age. It's due to hormone imbalances while you're aging. So if we can fix the hormones and learn how to balance the hormones correctly, well, guess what? We don't actually get prostate swelling anymore, what they call prostate enlargement. So that's what you need to do. All right. If y'all got any questions so far on that, uh, y'all can ask them now. If not, we're going to move on to the next question. Yes, the lungs or the wings. I agree with you. I agree with you. What else we got? Y'all got any questions so far on it? What causes migraines? It can be pressure in your head, hydrostatic pressure, oncotic pressure, glymphatic system that's, that's not draining pressure, the lack of minerals. You probably need to get you a couple Celtic salt shots, a couple of lemon shots, breathing exercises. Probably need to open up your nasal passage. Being in the wrong latitude and longitude will bring on these oncotic uh, uh, symptomologies. So it, it all depends on. That's why when you're going through stuff, you got to go all the way around. You got to check every system. That way you can narrow things down. And I think that's why I, was, I think that's a good thing to use the doctors for. You know, the, the thing to use the doctors for to me is diagnostic, diagnosing and surgery. You know, to me, the allopathic community is good, good at that. Now, when it comes to facilitating healing, I think they do a very, 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 very bad piss poor job. When it comes to detoxification and cellular regeneration, I think they do a piss poor job. But when it comes to surgery and it comes for using a uh, machinery to diagnose, I think they, they do a pretty good job. Because, you know, the eyes, is only so much iridology reading is going to show you. It's only so much where I can look in your eyes and see what that's going to show you. That's going to show your genetic patterns, your genetic weaknesses, and your genetic strengths. You know, the uh, x-ray will show you more. MR or MRI can show you more. You know, using color contrast to act and dyes to go into the bloodstream. These things show you more. I mean, they do. Now, is they cancerous cause? And hell yeah, you going behind some, some radiation, you know, they do mess up the cells a little bit. But we know what's going on and we can clean up the radiation through the detoxification process. So the only time I really recommend going to the allopathic community is if you, have, if you need surgery from a life-threatening condition or you really don't know what's going on with your system and you need to get checked metabolically for them to tell you what's going on and then you take that information and then you go to your holistic health nutrition and then you let them, you let them help you facilitate the rest. All right, so next question. I see I ain't had no questions for that. So the next one is, it says, uh, hello, Yaki, I love your teachings. Can you please tell me how to get rid of H. pylori, helicobacter, helicobacter pylori? Everybody talking about that. Helicobacter have got such a bad name and it ain't, it's just in the wrong place. It's kind of like being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Your body naturally produces helicobacter pylori. When you read on Google and you read some of their scientific articles, they will tell you. They're, 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 They'll tell you that helicobacter pylori comes from, uh, you know, eating certain foods. They'll tell you it come from uh, slopping out, uh, uh, you know, slopping out saliva and all this other stuff. But helicobacter pylori is already naturally within your body. 
is do a good job when it's actually in past the pyloric sphincter and the duodenum. But when it passes the pyloric sphincter and goes into the stomach, it do a very, very bad job because it starts chewing and eating away at all the mucosa inside the stomach lining. And then it, it starts creating things like leaky gut and it creates ulcers or ulcititis or something like that. So the bacteria is not bad and the bacteria is not the blame. It's when the bacteria is misplaced because of things that you're eating and the 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 environment that you're putting your cells in is going to change or pleomorph the bacteria to change their job and their position. If your body is full of trash and waste, guess what the bacteria turns into? They turn into parasites or they pleomorphize themselves into parasites to get rid of the metabolic waste. You see that? If your body is, is super, super, I don't want to say body is super alkaline because it don't sound right because your body can't be super alkaline. But if you are bringing in more alkaline foods than acidic forming foods, then the bacteria loves to ferment things. So they'll be your fermenters where they'll break down your food or they'll be your trash cans where they'll come and eat the things that the fermentation can't break down. It's the same bacteria, but it will pleomorphize itself and change and have a different role depending on the environment that you put your cells in. You see what I'm saying? So when you have too many acids inside of your stomach and your hydrochloric acid is too high, you have too much mucus building up there because you're eating mucus and acidic forming foods, the actual bacteria Helicobacter pylori will be in this little nine inch section of your stomach called the duodenum or duodenum. It will actually pass through the pyloric sphincter and go in the stomach because it feels like that it needs to help you clean up things. The only thing is they do their job too well. So they start eating and chewing away up all this excessive mucus and then they start chewing through the line and the stomach now you got ulcers and you have things like that so you can you can't really get rid of helicobacter pylori what you can do is get rid of the excessive acid builds up and the excessive mucus that's building up in your actual stomach or abdominal area and then it will go back to the pyloric sphincter along with the candida albicans the lactose bacillus and everything else and the bifidum bacteria and, and be where it need to be and it'll stop wreaking havoc on your body so what I've been noticing and how we've been uh, helping getting rid of Helicobacter uh, pylori uh, infestation is we do Manuka honey. A tablespoon of Manuka honey when you first wake up on an empty stomach. Uh, we've been incorporating more uh, ferm fermentating foods into the body. I love sauerkraut. Get you some organic cabbage and then you're going to literally ferment it. And you can drink the fermented juice from the cabbage and eat the cabbage. That's that's very good uh, for you as well. And, and last but not least is sulforaphane. Sulforaphane come from the brassica family or what we'll call the cruciferous family. And you, you we, can, we can look this up as well. It showed that how sulforaphane from Brussels sprouts and sulforaphane from different types of broccolis and kale actually helps get, of, get rid of H. pylori because of the sulfates or this natural sulfur that's accumulated with inside of these vegetables. And the one thing that Helicobacter Dr. Pylori hate is sulfur, hate sulfur. So if you can bring in some natural sulfates, guess what? It's going to get out of the stomach and it's going to go right where it needs to be. And we can look up that article as well. So let me show y'all that. Sulforaphane gets rid of Helicobacter pylori. According to WebMD, you can treat the symptoms of an H. pylori infection with it pump inhibitors, PPIs, and H2 blockers. Treatment takes about two weeks. Once the bacteria are gone, I said so far a thing. This mug says so far a thing. <laughs> I know I'm talking. I, I talk that messed up, y'all. Console for a thing. I think I spelled it right. We're going to see. Okay, here it go. Look. Boy. And this is from the actual uh, National Institute of Health. And they just talk about how sulforaphane have strong bacterial side activity against H. pylori. See that? In vitro. Moreover, sulforaphane is, is highly active against large number of clinical isolates of Helicobacter pylori or H. pylori. It says many of which are resistant to conventional anti antibiotics. So this article that is from the National Institute of Health actually telling you that eating broccoli and, uh, and eating kale and eating Brussels sprouts and eating things that's a part of the cruciferous brassica family actually have more of effect on H. pylori or Helicobacter pylori than the actual antibiotics that they actually prescribe to you at the hospitals, y'all.
You see what I'm saying? And if you look at these articles, always go down to the experiment, always go down to their uh, to their results and always look at their statistics and what they did to find their results. And you will see if they did them in laboratories or not. You will actually see and find if they did them in laboratories or not. And that's the problem and the issue that I have with amygdala being in celery. Yes, I did find it. But where is the articles showing that the scientists actually took the celery, did the experiments, broke down the compounds and and actually showed that amygdala came from these. You know, we need to see the, the experiments. We need to see them. Same thing. That's why we test so much stuff and we send so much stuff to the laboratories because people can lie in science. I have a book right now called We or the Experts Listen to Us. Let me show y'all this book. And this book is deep, y'all. And the book is talking about how the government is paying certain scientists billions of dollars to lie to push a certain narrative. And they lying through articles, y'all. I mean, they out flat out lying. Let me ch look. Check this out. We... Or I should have brought that book, Nabi. Yeah. We are the experts. No, we the book. Yep, listen to us. Book. Man, this book blew my mind, man. Where is this book at? Huh, find that book for me. It's called We Are the Experts. Listen to us. Or listen to us, we are the experts. Now be gonna find it. So man, it's crazy. So just think just think about that though. The government paying a science scientists billions of dollars, or they giving they giving them a budget, they giving them a budget of, of, of 200 million, and then they say, look, do the experiment, but within that experiment, make it look like what I want it to look for, we can get more money from the lenders. <laughs> and then they be behind there shaking up some shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Basically, uh, falsifying evidence and fa falsifying the experiment to push a certain narrative and outcome. And then me and you come start arguing with each other over their findings when the damn uh, <laughs> the damn prerequisite of the fi findings was falsified anyway. And me and you hate each other. <laughs> me and you hate each other guts over scientific articles. Here go the book. See, not be my man, man. It's my dude. So look. This book will blow your mind, y'all. And it's literally, it's on Amazon. It's called Trust Us, We're the Experts. Trust Us, We're the Experts. And it says, lies, damn lies, public relations industry, science and government. And it's talk about manipulation in the science industry. And man, it, it talks about toxic sludge, how they hide stuff from us, how they just put propaganda out there to, to change our mindsets. Uh, the author of this book is... Who is the author, Nabi? I, uh, I call it out. Yeah, call it out for that. Game. And make sure y'all download that book, y'all. I'm talking about, man, it'll blow your mind. And y'all wonder why we, yeah. Sheldon Rampton, that's R-A-M-P-T-O-N. Sheldon Rampton. Yeah, and John C. Stabir, which is S-T-A-U-B-E-R. All right, make sure y'all download that book, y'all. It'll blow your mind. You talking about not trusting a damn thing? Y'all think, why y'all think y'all be thinking I'm so crazy with the information and why I don't believe things and I pay we well, literally we spend over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year just on laboratory results for a reason because we be having to do our own experiment. We be having to do our own stuff. I need to go in the laboratory and see this stuff myself because we know how people be lying with the information. They've been doing this for years, y'all. But uh so furafane. So furafane is good. Uh, for H uh, Helicobacter pylori, Manuka honey is very very good for Helicobacter pylori. Uh, what else is good? Uh, fermentation. Make sure you do fermented onions, fermented pickles, or what you would call pickled onions or uh, pickled uh, pickled cucumbers. Make sure you do them yourself at the house. These things are very very good for H pylori. And what we be using for H pylori is my three bitters, the three bitters, bitter one in particular, because bitter one actually have what you would call a hydrangea root in it. It actually have your uh, your cassia chips or your cassia woods, and that, repl that replaces the good bacteria in the gut. So that's what I would do if I was you. Any questions so far for this particular case? If not, we can keep it going. Yeah, y'all asking pretty easy questions today. Brother, can you speak about, brother, can you speak about the brothers with prostates? Brother, I promise you when we went live, that was the first question I asked, King. Yes, it's called Trust Us, We Are the Experts. I'm, I'm posting it in the comment 
Now, B is posting in the comment board, y'all. It just yeah, shows y'all the trickery and lies of the science community, man. Huh, y'all ain't going to... I'm just going to answer their questions because they keep asking. They, they don't even want me to read. I'm just going to answer y'all questions. Come on. Call in. Let, let's see what we got. <laughs> Who we got? That's who we got. Come on in. Brother, could you help with your sperm count? You need to check your seminal fluid. Uh, usually people's sperm count be high, but you have something called a ejaculatory, uh, ejaculatory uh, spout or ejaculatory uh, canal that usually be shut off. And you, you, you can't get the sperm out properly, so you start looking at the color of your sperm, and your sperm be looking more watery than that off-white substance. That can be a sign of infertility. All right. Also, you need to be looking at zinc, copper, and selenium. Zinc, copper, and selenium could be missing from your similar uh, composition when making up your sperm, and that will make you very, very infertile too. So you might be mineral deficient. If I was you, I would get more zinc, copper, and selenium. What you need to do is you need to do a metabolic chart. You need to go to your doctor, and you need to get a metabolic chart done, a CBC done, and you need to get a mineral chart done so they can check all the mineral content that's in your bloodstream. And I bet you you missing selenium, you lacking zinc, and you lacking copper. And you need all three of these minerals to actually be able to reproduce, brother. Usually when people are infertile, that's what's messing up. Or they they uh, testicles. They testicles are not always at the right temperature. So check your testicles too. See if it's away from your body a lot. See if it's inside your body a lot. Maybe your temperature regulation is wrong. And what regulates your temperature is your thyroid gland and your parathyroid. So it might be a basal problem as well. And all basal means is the basement cells of the follicular cells that makes up your thyroid. So you probably have a temperature issue issue that's why you know you see men with very with their balls hang low or you, if you a man that have balls that hang low it's because the body core temperature is too hot and what the body does it is it, it protects its future generations so the sack the nut sack start hanging far away from the body for it can cool off the actual testicles for that sperm won't heat up to a certain temperature and you kill all of the sperm or if you get too cold notice that the penis shrink and that the ball shrink back up into the body for they can get heat again for it can keep that incubation and keep that life going on inside of the testicles so whenever you see somebody that's infertile it's either a mineral deficiency or it's a temperature unregulated problem that they actually need to fix and always if you unfertile don't drink no alcohol don't smoke any cigarettes or don't smoke any weed you shouldn't be doing hookahs you shouldn't be smoking anything or drinking anything drink your juices drink your water, eat fruits, vegetables, and herbs, and try to do it as raw as possible. And usually that'll cause a detoxification. You can get rid of all of basically the toxemia that's in the body. You can bring in more minerals that's in the body, and then boom, you having sex and you making babies. I tried to accept somebody, but it didn't accept them. Let me accept somebody else. Let's see him come in. Thank you for the tea, Nabi. Appreciate it, brother. Peace, peace. Peace, peace, God. How you feeling, brother? What's your name? Where you from, man? Man, I'm from Richmond, California. Uh, my name is Joe. Richmond, Cali, man. Uh, I was out there in uh in the Bay, man, mm -hmm. over there in Oakland, and I rode through Richmond, man. It's a straight hood out there, bro. Oh, yeah, man. We, man, it's it's a jungle out here. I rode through the projects. As I was riding through the projects, bro, I seen a like a I, I literally seen like two thousand Mexicans knocking them down. Like they straight bro. knocking the projects down hey, down there. And this was like three real. years ago, brother. It's real out here. I'm telling you, a lot of people don't make it. Like if I don't know if y'all know or if you heard of, but the uh, artist Tayway the uh, Tayway the AK, he just recently got killed out here. Um, you know, he was a big artist. He got the song "Fuck It Up" that's been going crazy around the world. You know what I'm saying? But tap in real Richmond though. But yeah. so I got um, a question before you before you before you ask your question. Did they end up knocking all them projects? Is they all gone now? Man, it, justification is real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I was it's seeing really it happening real. when I was there, brother. It, it's, it's people out here trying to keep the streets alive, but you know they they really getting us out and getting the others in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Our piece of that brother too, man. What's going on with you? How can I help you, King? Okay. Well, first, man. And I, I heard about you from my grandfather because um, he's been having like cr like random shockings. He had a stroke and then he had these random shockings that's happening in his brain. Uh, it's like he shocks and then he makes these weird faces. He can't, his eyes yeah, start kinda, watering. It's, it's like trembling. It's yeah. kind of like how you, how 
you have a how the earth have a, a, a earthquake yeah and then after the earthquake you have trembles that happen up to six months after the initial earthquake so that mean that mean that stroke actually struck a nerve and that nerve might still be contracted and then it's yeah. trying to release itself but when it's releasing itself since there's so much contraction there he start getting them trembles that's going on yeah so like, i got a question after he had his stroke uh did, did he get any type of uh uh paralyzation on any side of his body yes like his, is his mouth twisted his face, and his, fa his face he could his face was parallel i mean paralyzed, paralyzed. And it dropped like it started to drop like his cheeks his nose and his, both his cheeks and his nose it dropped and he couldn't move what about what about his arms and his legs he still got mobility nah, in his mobility, arm and leg? no that, the mobility is fine it's just it was straight the like you said the para the para paralyzed in the face and like i said the shocking in his brain like and it's exactly what you just said the nerve problem um so i got i got a question what what's what about his speech can he can he can no. he still speak good or he's speaking with no. a slur yes big big slur he can barely talk he repeat he stutters a lot he repeat himself over and over and then he be trying to think of the things he's trying to say he know what he's trying to say yeah. but he can't get it out he can't get it out because of that connection all right now my last question is can he drink and can he eat comfortably or do or what how is his drinking and eating he, since that since he is oh, paralyzed on one side i have a my grandfather is a track coach and a, he was a wrestling star back in the day like he's a, a real healthy man so uh yeah, he, he eats healthy, like, but don't get me wrong, you know, we black people, you know what I'm saying? Well, color folk, you know what I'm saying? So we eat how we eat, but, you know, it's probably we do a little seasoning here, a little over seasoning, but, you know, we eat right. But he is a person who will tell you no and eat very healthy. So, so, so if he, if he willing to change his diet, I can give you a quick little protocol that'll help him out tremendously. And this is what we do to any of stroke victims. This is what we do. We immediately take them off of meat. We take them off of all cooked foods, especially when it comes to seed oils. We don't recommend you frying anything because it gives you that six omega, that omega six, uh, uh, basically, uh unsaturated fatty acids right. and this stuff is very very bad for the nervous system so what we do is we put people on an all raw diet that's high in berries whenever you need to get oxygen and need to get more circulation and blood to the actual brain or to the head to rebuild those cells berries man berries 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 have antioxidants in them berries are our oxygenators berries prolong lives and berries actually promote new uh, brain tissue and new neurological pathways so what i would do is berries now it is something that you can pin uh, sear for him and it will be a uh, lion's mane i will make most definitely get him on lion's mane you can get him on this herb called go to cola go to cola is very very good uh another yeah. one is go to cola is spelled g-o-t-u cola okay k-a-l-a i believe it's another one called and, ginkgo and so what's one of your uh products because he recently told me that he purchased uh all three of your bitter the three bitters in the i think it's a tea in three bitters i think it's called. you got it you got his order number if you got his order number we're checking out and make sure it gets sent out asap uh i couldn't tell you that so look he took get his order number and dm me his order number tonight if you can and uh, i'll make I, sure it get out to him tomorrow i can definitely i can definitely do that he, he he definitely bought the three teas and the bitter um, but I just wanted to ask you, based on what I my I had a two two part question. The first one was he bought the based on everything I just said about the shock and the stir in the face, the stuff like that with the nerve problem. It is the three was the three bitter. My bad, I'm high. It's all good. Weed. So look, uh, the three bitter. No, so if you high, that ain't all good because I mean you probably smoked. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm saying uh, my question is, it was did he buy the right product? So, so the three. Bitters is an initial of full body detoxification. It's like a beginning detoxification. That's what it is. Okay. What he gonna need, he have more of a serious, a serious injury because he got what you would call nervous system or neurological brain damage from the stroke. Right. What I would have did with him is I either would have bought the weak, I would have brought the geogenetic therapeutic package level one. And if y'all didn't want to do that and spend that much money, I would at least got him the actual nervous system kit. You should have okay. got him the nervous system kit or you should have got him the actual uh geogenetic therapeutic package level one and with that package i will put him on a 90 percent fruit diet and then a 10 percent will be my winging percentage since i know that he probably stubborn and stuck in his ways that 10 percent, i let him play around in that and then 90 percent right. of the diet all fruits high in berries okay. and uh how tall in the, how tall is he pretty tall nah he about five, five uh how much nah. 
How much you know how much he weighed? What 120, 150? Yeah, yeah. So under the 50, like 130, 120, like See, you said, and I make sure I put him on at least 50 ounces of liquids a day. And my liquids okay. will consist of juices, berries, I mean berries, juices, and melon juices and spring water. Oh. He needs severe okay. hydration. Cause what we're trying to do is we basically trying to regenerate neurological tissue tissues. And if we can do that, we can get neuro, new neurological functions. So don't forget about the mushroom kingdom, though. The mycelium kingdom is very, very good for the brain, especially when you start talking about lion's mane. You start talking about your trumpets. You start talking about your reishi. You start talking about things like that. Very, very good for brain cognition, uh, brain cognitive functions. You see what I'm saying? And then berries. So stick with the berries. Stick with the mushrooms. Pin sear the mushrooms. Don't use no actual seed oils. Get them on high fruits, vegetables, and melons. And then he either need that nervous system kit with the three bitters that you already got, or you need to get him that geogenetic therapeutic package level one, and y'all need to go to town. And what we notice is within the first four to six weeks, you start seeing fa the faces start lifting itself back up because you're strengthening the nerves again. You start seeing yeah. uh, myelin sheets responding. You start seeing the talking. Don't be so much of a slur again. Like you start seeing, you start seeing the body go back it's to like normal. He, he, he slurs so much in like, like I said, he'll know what he's trying to say, but he can't get it out. And he'll get so mad because he can't say it, he'll just stop talking. No, I get like it. He, I get it. So look, that's, cut off the whole conversation. That's what I do, King. I start there. I start there. You need to clean out all the acids in his body because uh, I'm pretty sure the acids is what's really chewing away at them nerves. And then you see what, what causes a stroke anyway. Usually it's a, it's a shortage of blood flow. So you got to clean out the cardiovascular system. You got to clean out the vascular arteries, get any type of protein or calcification out of the arteries. So he's going to need a, a full body detoxification. And uh, since he, and I think you just should take it slow with him, but start changing the diet first and then start incorporating the herbs. That's what I would okay. do. Okay, and then my second question uh, was a uh, um, so basically one, basically one of my best friends they told me that they got uh, HPV I think that's what yeah, it's called yeah, and yeah. I think it's called HPV um, and so I keep hearing like I keep hearing like you know the what the the, the the I guess you call it the the myth is you know you can't get rid of it I guess yeah that's and it's most definitely a myth. You can get rid of HPV. HPV and HSV is the same strand. It's just same family. You still you still dealing with you still dealing with the actual uh hemoth worm. It's just one hemoth worm pleomorphizes itself and causes warts, and the other one causes canker sores. They're still a part of the same zoster family, though. Uh the only difference is herpes end up causing degenerative neurological functions. HPV end up causing reproductive abnormality. So you see a lot of women with HPV end up with ovarian cancer or end up with fibroids or end up with some type of cancer going on within a uterine wall or going on with a cervix. In men, you start seeing the prostate mess up. You start seeing penile atrophy where their penises start to shrink. And the thing about yeah. HPV in men is it goes undetective. So they yeah. walk around and penis is shrinking and balls are shriveling up and they don't know why. And that's because most most likely they have HPV, but it's undetected. But even though males are asymptomatic, they can pass it to women. So the reason how women is getting HPV is by the man, but the man is going to get tested. And since they don't test positive for it, you don't see it. So whether it's a, a male or female, I always treat HPV like I treat any of my herpes clients. And that's a full blown geogenetic therapeutic package level two or three all the way we got to get rid of that that worm and we, what we're dealing with is a fascial lobscus fluke worm that starts off very small and then when it travels through the body it gets bigger and bigger and it changes if this same fascial lobscus booski worm passes the the blood barrier and make it into the thymus gland it starts eating up all of the the urethrocytes and cells and t-cells in the thymus gland and it lowers the cd4 count guess what they call that they call it hiv you see what i'm saying if it makes Taking inside the pancreas and it starts eating up all the enzymes out of the pancreas and messes with the islands of Langerhans. Guess what they call that? Because you're not producing insulin. They call it diabetes one or hyperglycemia one or two. So we talk, we dealing with the same pleomorphic bacteria, depending on the location and where is that in the body, it causes a different type of issue. And based off these symptoms, these issues and detoxification symptomologies, that's what they call a disease. So HPV, HPV is an actual, not only it's a bacterial infection, but it's a parasitical infection. So you would treat it like a parasite. 
And that's what I would do. So I would do the geogenetic therapeutic package level uh, two. I would do about 50 ounces of juice in a day, the geogenetic juice, the juice that healed me. And then I would most you definitely make sure I'm not. That heal you yeah, the juice is me called the geogenetic juice you can just go down oh. my page and find okay. that uh and then and then m most definitely make sure that whoever that is is moving their lymphatic system whether they, that's they trampolining right, they, right here, they listening okay look make sure you drunk look trampolining rebounding running jumping jacks uh rebounding anything that's going to move your body to move your lymphatic system to start moving that interstitial fluid around because that's the only thing that's going to get rid of metabolic waste and then you need to you know get your clove game up raw cloves is very good wormwood is very good make sure that when you make you making your wormwood tea you're using cold water and then you let it go to room temperature before you drink it but don't heat up the wormwood because you heat up most of the actual healing constituents that's in the wormwood and that's going to stop you from healing anyway and last but not least black walnut hog and green walnut hog you're going after a parasite. You need to kill the parasite. Get rid of the parasites. You get rid of the HPV. HPV and HSV is not a viral. It's not a viral load. They all saying it is, but it's not. So that's what I would do. That's cool. Good looking, bro. I was all good. Yeah, and everybody that's typing black walnut hall, make sure you can find the green ones. They're way powerful and more stronger than the black ones. And Purdy Arco is very, very good too, Golden Brown 22. You show sure right. I forgot about Purdy Arco and Cat's Claw. These are things you can use, but all of these things are in the geogenetic therapeutic package uh, level two, brother. Thank you. And then and then back to the, the my bad, before we get off, you know, and the, 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 the 90% berries 10% yeah, 90 percent fruits and yeah 10 percent 10 percent all the other stuff to wean him off make sure you give him 50 ounces of liquids a day brother and then you're gonna give him the geogenetic therapeutic package level one or get him that nervous system kit and start him on them three bitters now brother okay thank you i'm, I'm gonna make sure i hit right. you with the um, yeah hit me with that order number the order number if we can get that out i got you all right you got to hang up brother peace right, love light of healing good It's a little X button in your top left. No, I'm All right. Any more questions, y'all? If y'all got any questions about that so far, let me know. He said he had a stroke at 25. Oh, my God. I would do the same thing. Peace, peace. How you feeling? Good. I'm, I'm so, so happy to see you. Uh, crazy. What's so, your name? Where are you from? My name is Sasha. I am originally from Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad. But I'm Dad from Brooklyn. in the building. Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn. And I live in Phoenix, Arizona right now. Where you at? You in the shower? Yeah. This woman is in the shower. Where, Where you, you at? Going? You in Phoenix? Huh? You in Phoenix, you said? No, no. -uh. I said this woman is in the shower. Yeah, because I'm... So so can my foot hurt, but let me just tell you something. So I have high blood pressure since I had, I had, I'm 44 and in the last five years, I just had like three babies. I have a 19 year old, I got a six year old, four year old and a one year old, right? Congratulations, that means your wound is fertile, congratulations. Since then, now they've been telling me my blood pressure is high, my, I got diabetes, all these things is going on. So. I've been trying to do it natural and, you know, I don't eat any meat for seven years now, you know, but I do eat fish and um, shrimp and all that. And, uh, but my blood pressure is still high, be sky high. Yeah, it sounds like you have post-pregnancy hypertension. That's what they call it, post-pregnancy hypertension. And it's basically after you go through all of uh, the hard, rigorous body, basically body trauma for, for, for giving birth to all of those babies, you get a significant amount of cortisol into the bloodstream and your hormones get thrown off by way of your adrenal glands. And it actually okay. rises, it raises something called the hydrostatic pressure inside the body. So the first thing I know for a fact is you need magnesium. Okay. You're magnesium deficient. Okay. So you need to get more magnesium inside of your bloodstream and potassium or what they call potassium. Yes. So what I would do if I was you, I think you need to get an uh, actual urinalysis done for we can check your kidneys and your adrenals to see, you know, how they functioning. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure something is going on with your kidneys and your adrenals and you're holding a lot of acids and fluids. Yeah, in because guess, guess what happened too? Like, I just started being sleepy all the time. Like, like literally sleeping on myself. I'm like, what is going on? Then with your adrenals. You know, so you
very, and, very adrenal and I and pee pee. a lot at night, like see, a million times. For your adrenals as well and your kidney. See, so these are, this is a kidney and adrenal issue. So what I would do if I was you, I would go on to the site and get the kidney and adrenal kit. Uh, while you're waiting on that, though, I want you to go get a, a, a few things, uh, uh, things that actually help lowers the blood pressure. You have something called Flor de Manita. It's called Flor de Manita. So huh? it's called Flor de Manita Flower. Nabi, would you put this in the uh, put it in the comment board? It's Please. F L O R space D E M A N I T A Manita, I believe. All right. Make sure y'all because I just went to the doctor to get a whole workup done. He gave me some. He gave me like a blood pressure pill, 100 milligrams of beta -lol. See, so look, I've been I on took, that three I'm feeling so, insane. Like, so look, I took I took that for three years, and guess what? My penis couldn't get hard. So don't take good that. Good thing I, well, I don't have no penis. My yeah. bad. I can't tell you not to take that while we're on live because that's illegal. I wouldn't take it, but I'm saying it, it really messed with my my chemistry of my body. That's why I had to get off of all of it because I had I blood. feel I had, crazy. Like my I feel like dizzy. My like I'm yeah. Like you gonna get, you start cool. you gonna start getting high. You gonna start feeling the pressure in your your head and everything. So, so what to do? I don't you been on it like three days what to do stop so, so i wouldn't i can't tell you to stop i tell you what i'll do if it was me if it was me i would stop taking it and i will get that floor de manita flour i will make sure i'm drinking an eight ounce glass of tea of that a day i'll make sure that i'm not eating any cooked foods i'll make sure that i lower my sodium intake i'm not eating any table salt i got I'll make sure that i'm not eating in no type of salt too See, I will even calm down on the Celtic salt. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat that as well. And I'll do fruits and vegetables, and I'll make sure that my fruits and vegetables is in a ratio of 60-40. 60% fruit, 40% vegetables. When your blood pressure get high, make sure you take a hot and cold shower. That'll help regulate it more. Go for a 20-minute walk and start exercising. That's very, very good for the okay. blood pressure and for the cardiovascular system. But your issue is your kidneys and your adrenals. Your adrenals is your systolic. That's the top number. Your yeah. kidneys is your bottom number. That's diastolic. So you're going to have to clean up the kidneys and the adrenals. So the kidney and adrenal kit off the website will be very, very good for you. If you need your own herbs, what you can do for your adrenals, I wouldn't recommend you do any licorice root or any ashwagandha because it's going to raise the blood pressure higher. You see okay. what I'm saying? So make sure you stay away from that. But I will do wild yam root for the actual adrenals. For the kidneys, I would do parsley. I would do cleaver's leaf, and I would do cilantro. That'll help actually get rid of all that pressure in the kidneys. And then if you want to just take my herbs, again, the kidney adrenal kit. And then if you actually, you can Google this yourself. Just look up fruits and vegetables that have high magnesium content. Right. Make sure that it's from a credible source, and then you incorporate those into your diet, and you'll be okay. All right, thank you so much. I won't be sleeping no more because I'm yeah. trying to catch my husband leaving early. Yeah, no, you got it. You got it. So <laughs> peace, love, like him until you got to Take care of yourself. Thank you so much. I have a good night. I appreciate y'all for uh putting all this stuff into the comments, y'all. Thank y'all for participating. Who else we got? I'm just doing randoms, y'all. I'm just doing randoms. else we got peace peace blessings blessings goddess how you doing hi Jackie how are you I'm doing good what's your name where you from my name is Deja I'm from Ohio but oh. I live in California Ohio Ohio is one of the oldest civilizations of people in the world y'all got all types of pyramids and stuff out there that they don't just put courthouses on top of oh wow there is <laughs> Super ancient out there in Ohio. Shouts out to uh Bobby, Fruit Up Bobby from Ohio. Shouts out to Kev from Ohio. Shouts out yeah. to my Ohio brothers. They fruit yeah. it up out there in Ohio. They are. They are. What's going on with you? Talk to me. Okay. So I had recently got some blur work done. Um mm -hmm. I've been feeling like um lightheaded, uh vision blurry, um hair thinning, shedding. Lack of urn and thyroid. Uh, thyroid. So but my really? last came back day and it was abnormal. Okay, so what was your so if you if you can pull them up, I just need to know your TSH, your free T3, your free T4, your T3, and your T4. See, it's on my phone, and I'm scared. Uh, to, if I, it's uh, okay. All right. But, so, um, so what did they offer you? Well, well, I actually have a phone visit on Wednesday. So look, so you can send it to your your my chart, and you can look over that's it. That's why I, so I looked over it. Tell you to do because I don't want to tell you. I can, it's hard for me to tell you what to because I want to make this a teachable moment, but I can't. It'll be like an hour long because I don't know exactly what your meta. I don't know what your thyroid chart reads. So do me this favor. Uh, what's your name on? What's your name on here? Um, Deja Vuquan. Deja D E J A 
The EJ underscore four Vu Buquan V U Q U A W N A W N. So Deja underscore B U Q U A W N. V as in Victor. V U like Deja like Deja Vu. Got you. All right, I'm gonna have Nabi Nabi reach out to her. Uh, I'm gonna have my manager reach out to you, and he gonna give you the email to send a chart to. Since you was selected on this live, I feel like I'm doing a disservice if I ain't give you no answers. So send okay. us that chart when you get it, and uh, after you talk to your doctor, and then we 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 help you out. Okay. So you will receive this right now. He's gonna message okay. you now. Okay. All right. Like, All right. Thank you so much. His name not B. Not B. Yeah, not B. Okay. Thank right, you. Peace, guys. Thank you. Peace, love, love him. It's right here. I wrote it down right here. I know my handwriting kind of sloppy. Don't talk about me now. All right, who else we got? Thank you for doing this live. Always, y'all, always. Blessings, oh. blessings. Peace, oh. peace. Wow, I did not know I was going to get accepted. Hey. Hey, hey, where your face at? How you doing, goddess? Hi, how are you? I look a mess right now. But I was I was coming in on behalf of my sister. What's your name? Like you in, uh, Got it. My name is Diara. This is Diasha. Diara, Diasha. Y'all twins? Y'all no. look just <laughs> Y'all look just alike. <laughs> Where y'all from? You. We from San Diego, California. San so Diego. Atlanta. Yeah, okay. Okay, y'all stay in Atlanta though. Mm -hmm. What's going on with y'all? Talk to me. So my sister is um fighting kidney failure. And what's the percentage of your kidneys? What's the goddess? percentage of your kidneys? With kidney disease, like the end stage, I'm on dialysis already. You already on dialysis? Okay. Are you still able to produce urine? Are you still urinating or are you completely dry? You no, I'm not urinating. Are you completely dry? Do you feel still feel the urge? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, some days. So um, you're not even producing a drip or nothing? No. Uh, how long has it been since you ain't been able to produce no urine? About three years. About three years. Okay. And then what they say the percent percentage of your kidneys was? Um, you know, I can't remember exactly, but I can figure it out and then DM you if you need that information. Yeah, I am. And then I'll, I want to know this too. Uh, so how many weeks, what, three? Somebody keep blowing me up and they know I'm on live. Uh, how often are you going to be on dialysis? What, three to four times a week? Uh, three. Three days out the week. I only do two and a half hours, though. Okay. Do they have you on a water restriction? What is yes. It? The 32 ounces? About that, yes. About 32. If you drink more than that, do you swell up real bad? Yeah. yeah. Where is that? Is it in your legs or in your ankles? I feel like it's more in my, like, legs and ankles. And sometimes, and then sometimes my face. Okay, so you back up interstitially there as well. Okay, so look, let's do this. We're going to do the same thing with you, too. I guess so. we said we was going to do this as much. We was going to give away some free packages. I guess it's going to be to them. All right, let me get your, uh, let's do it. Let me, what's, what's your name on here? Hers is um, um, Yellow yellow Butterfly. If you, if, if, no, it's my if you, oh, you going to answer, whoever answered for her, if you're going to be the one answer for her quick, let me get yours. Because he's going to send it yeah, tonight. Yeah, because I'm the freak, because she wasn't even going to get on here. So I had to get on here while I was able to. <laughs> I see. <laughs> so, uh, what, what's your what's your uh, name on here? Diara D I E D I E. Double R. Double R A. Mm -hmm. And Diego, uh, like San Diego. D I E G O. D I E G O. All right. So at Diara Diego. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You oh, not be here about this one right here. All right. Now be gonna hit you up because I got your stuff right here. Okay. Okay. All right. We might as well okay, do so this we Let's do three. All right, all right, let's do yep. So uh, he finna DM you now and then send all that paperwork over and then uh, we're going to see exactly what we can do. So we're going to give away one more free. So this will be three packages. Hey, for I'm so excited. All right. Thank we're gonna you see, so We're going to see what we can do. No, nah, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. Have a blessed night. Right, peace, peace y'all. Peace. So we do one more giveaway. Okay. This will be our charity for the month. Hang up, dear. All right, who else we got? Blessings, blessings. We at, we at. Peace. Peace, peace, love, light of healing. You on, bro?
bro. Oh, Peace what's happening, man? So, How you brother, doing, you look bro? like you at the gig, man. You man. gigging, brother? Man, I'm out here trying to get it. What's your, what's your name, man? Where you from? My name is Gary, man. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky. Lucky in the building. What's up with the King, Gary? Man, man, what's going on with your brother? Talk to me. Man, I got some young 15-year-old athletes. Uh, play football, uh, lift heavy, run track, play basketball. Uh, we're trying to make this switch over to, you know, the fruits and vegetables. I just want to make sure. I'm, I'm excited about that gorilla mix coming out. Man, it'll be out for... March the 1st, brother. Uh, it's going to change the world, man, brother. I'm telling post, you. Post the pre-orders. I won't make my order today, but... Uh, even with that, like, like, what should we base our base their nutrition on? Because traditionally, you know, I've been able to, you know, record their protein and see how much they're getting from that. But just switching over to this, I want to make sure that, you know, I, I weigh them weekly now just to see their progress and stuff like that. So I just want to know. Oh, man, it froze up on me. Keep calling me real quick. Give me one second. I got to block. Him. Okay. All right, I'm back. That's done. Yep. All right, so what I would do with the youngins is uh, you need to actually do gorilla, a whole gorilla lifestyle for them. I yep. had them eating like a gorilla. I had them working out like a gorilla, especially if, if they doing sports and stuff like that. Had them working out gorilla animal training. We got an animal training program coming out. They go crazy. You know what I'm saying? But uh, vegetables is very good for them. You have alf alfalfa sprouts. So make sure that whatever they're eating, you add a handful of alf alfalfa sprouts to their diet. Okay. Uh, avocado have a bunch of good omega-3 amino acid fatty chains in them. Start adding avocado to their diet as well. Uh, okay. Kale. Kale builds good muscle. So start adding kale to their diet and bamboo shoots. Bamboo okay. shoots is crazy. That adds a bunch of what you would call complex amino acid structures to their body as well. So we got bamboo shoots, we got kale, we got avocados, and we have alpha, alpha sprouts. These are amazing for building muscle and sustaining amino acid structures, right? Now we got to bring in hydration and we have to bring in all of the nutritional needs. that You're going to get that from your fruits. Fruits berries and melons yeah, yeah. yeah we did that this summer like just pretty much berries uh watermelon uh no cramps no issues with that as far as they hydrate that's health. good see 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 did they slim down a lot though yeah not not too much my 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 older son who's a month older did not but my my youngest one is the one i gotta watch he's got a really high metabolism so yeah so what you gotta do is look get them on gorilla squats Gorilla squats, get them on uh, uh, bear crawls, get them on backwards orangutans, like really get them on animal training. We coming out with a whole animal training course that's going to be crazy. But once you get them on those and while they're on the field, man, it's, it's going to be amazing. So uh, all those five things, incorporate that into their diet and melons too. Melons are fruits that builds muscles. Melons okay. build muscle. That's the fruit that builds muscle. Right. And then keep them on all the other things I just said. With that Gorilla Mix, brother, I'm telling you, the Gorilla Mix, we got Gorilla, gorilla Mix Energy Powder. We yeah. got uh, Gorilla Mix Muscle Up. And we got Gorilla Mix Superfood. Yeah, Those I saw the, the, I saw the man, YouTube earlier. Man, look, it got me. I'm talking about it got me yeah. going crazy. Man, I I'm, see you been I flexing done, look, I lately. I slimmed down and everything, brother. Like, I'm straight building muscle, man. Like, yeah. I'm building muscle, man. Like, I'm looking real different out here. Right. <laughs> Right. And that's that's I, nothing but exercising and gorilla mix and right. eating healthy, brother. Right. My qu another question too is like in Kentucky, I don't have access to like. Well, I've tried to buy watermelons and stuff like that. And most of them are bad or rotten. Like, what do you recommend as far as like even during the summertime? Like, I've never frozen watermelon before because I'm just now starting this this like this year. Like, what do you recommend like during these winter months uh, as far as like the access to or like substitutes for? Uh, like the lack of uh, so to be honest with you guys, I believe in traditional changes of the climate changes the fruit. Right. So so I don't believe unless you in a tropics where it is uh, where it is hot in the higher temperature all year round, I wouldn't even do it. Fruit changes with the right. season. So if you are somewhere where it's have an unnatural weather change, because me personally, I believe winter is unnatural anyway. But if you was in a state that have an unnatural weather change that go into winter, the tr the crops actually change with the seasons, just change with them. Because it's actually unnatural to be eating watermelon <laughs> in the middle of winter. Right. I, I, you see what I'm saying? I was thinking that, but I was like, uh, 
you know, but you I, yeah, I understand that. But yeah. if, if you do want to stick to that and you want to eat it here and there, there's nothing wrong with the freezing the freezing method. It's kind of like canning. A lot of people do that as well. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, in the winter, just make sure that you're keeping your uh, ascorbic acid up or what you would call vitamin C. Them are all your citrix. Right. You see what I'm saying? Make sure that you're getting your magnesium, man. That's why I love sweet potatoes in the wintertime. Right. Sweet, baked sweet potatoes is amazing, and it keep your muscle up, and it gives you high potassium, magnesium, and energy. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So I like to switch. If I'm in a if I'm in a climate that changes to winter and fall, I'm gonna eat fall. Uh, I'm gonna eat fall fruits and vegetables, and then when it go into winter, I'm gonna eat winter fruits and vegetables. Right. That's why you have certain fruits and vegetables that you can plant in all seasons. Yeah. That means yeah. that you have seasonal eating with your fruits and vegetables. Just change yeah, we, with it, brother. Do the same thing. We we got a nice size garden that we do our fruit, our winter crop and stuff like that. I'm talking, I want to give you an air dap, brother. Yes, Grow your own food yeah. is amazing, I'm brother. About to, I'm about to try these sprouts in the kitchen myself yeah. too. Hey, look, I, I, hey, I, I people been sleeping easy. on this too. Microgreens. Micro green, man. yeah, yeah. We about to do, man. we about to do a, a container. They do. Uh, there's a company here that does a container that we're gonna do as far as the micro green. Yeah, man. We, we, them. We I don't know this, how many we're gonna sell them. We went there. to this yeah. form. We got something called uh, from soil to table coming out. Where yeah. We go around to all the black farmers and we film them forming. We talk about food scarcity. We talk about preserving the soil, putting uh, alkalinity back in the soil, right, putting right. minerals back in the soil got because to. the soils are so stripped of minerals and the soil is mineral right. deficient. Man, this dude showed us his microgreens, man. Dude growing, he growing horses and man horses look like hercules right. of microgreens uh, yeah. all they eat is microgreens showing you how much nutrients is packed in the microgreens man and that's the reason why i love alpha, alpha sprouts so much brother yeah. yeah i appreciate it though man I, I have a degree in nutrition so i've been learning so much oh. been so much we gotta, we gotta link up brother yeah, we gotta what, link up man i just got my phd much. brother yeah, i'm, I'm adopting them I'm trying to get into that herbalist class that you just was talking about a minute ago. Yeah, we dropping really in, in two weeks, it. brother. We dropping in two weeks. It's an accredited school. It's gonna it's gonna be really recognized. Uh, you actually get a PhD in philosophy behind it. All of it is all legit. Okay. It's backed by real schools. It's credited by real schools. I really, I mean, it's amazing. We've been putting in a lot of work, brother. So uh, right. make sure that you stay in contact with us. Yeah, brother. yeah, yeah, man. And take my get my info. Get you got his info. Yes, sir. I mean, uh, you see his name on there? Yeah. All right, now B got it. He screenshot yeah. you. We're going to hit you up. Sir, I appreciate hey, it, man. Hey, good looking at what you're doing with them children, though, man. Children need black males that's doing something positive within the community for they to look up to. So I just uh, want to yeah. say I salute you, brother, straight up. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a whole group. And taking that responsibility, brother. We salute you, man. We yes, need some black leaders and males in the community really rearing up these young black men. Yes, sir. And we appreciate this truthful you know knowledge that you spend. Uh, he said he don't see it, so I need your I need uh, your at real fast. It's uh at G D is in dog R E I D three at G D R E I D three. All right, got you, yeah. brother. All right, he go. He, oh, okay, Nisha just sent it. Thank you, Nisha. All right, All right. Uh, we go. We going to you up tonight, yes, sir. Hey, I'm gonna send some pictures to them boys. Yeah, hey, and, and send some pictures of the boys, and send some pictures of, the, of your uh, of your small garden. Yeah, brother. yeah, I do. All right, all right, all right, peace, King. I like that right there, boy. See, he got, he got, he gonna be a part of the army. That's why I like, why I like them brothers. That's about their business. Up, you gotta bro. hang up, King. I think I did. Nah, you still on there, brother? Uh, it's that little right. X button, top left. Ah, uh, okay. Who else we got? Who else we got? Peace, peace, young God. This is crazy. This is crazy. What's good? What's your name, God? Where you from? My name is Markel. I'm from uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Markel from the PA. What's up with the God? Sure, yes, sir. I'm a musician, man. I've been on um, putting in work just over the years, just studying, man. Like really tapping in with the knowledge. And um, my mother put me on to you. Oh, and, great! Um, Shouts out to moms, yeah. man. Shouts out to her. Yeah, she had a. Uh, she has lupus, and um, one time, like probably, damn, I just got nervous. My bad. It's all good. Man. It's all <laughs> but, good. Man. You talk. You talk yeah, to a brother. You talk to a brother. We brothers, just yeah. like you. I ain't yeah. nobody, brother. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, twenty four, and um, I'm really on the path of just really tapping in, and you've been a, a, a just a great light, like you said, Doctor Savi's been for you. You've been there for me, and um, oh, I've been studying herbalism. I've been getting tapped in with the. Uh, 
bioflavonoids and molecular structures. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Yeah, man, yeah. Even with, like, what you broke down with the seedless um, fruits with the tetraploids yeah, and yeah. all of that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So you been... really, you really getting into science, nutrition of the me molecular structure of seeds. Yeah. That's where the true knowledge is that a lot of people not studying, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You're starting to get into tetraploids, the diploids, yeah. the karyopsis, the different classifications of fruits and vegetables. Once you, once you learn that knowledge, it shows you the whole secrets of the universe. Yeah. Straight up, brother. I, I agree, man. And, um, where I'm at with it now is uh I've been self study man. Um I went to college, I was playing uh football in college at Slippery Rock over near Pittsburgh. Yeah. And um once that changed up for me, I've had three surgeries on my leg uh -huh. and just rejuvenating my body um from the nerves and the sky wow. nerves and, and just all that type of stuff, man. It's led me to basically my question is I'm just trying to figure out I know you just got your PhD, man, like congrats on that. Like Yeah, appreciate it. Like, bottom you know um i'm just trying to figure out the routes the best route to go to become just official like i'm, I'm at that point in my life where you know i'm about to be 25 next year and i just want to i want to have those type of accolades and those certifications so, to push my first thing you need to, first thing you need to do is uh you need to get a master herbalist certificate and you can get that with me you can get that with me uh, man, you can actually get a lot of this stuff with us now. Yeah, you can take it all the way up with us. The uh, only thing that I can't give out, only thing I can't give out personally is a biochemistry certification. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'm working on that now. We just started that, so I probably should have my biochemistry certification in probably like another year. Where mm -hmm. well, I got my certification, but where I'm where I'm able to certify others. Yeah, I got to get some more hours in there. I got to get a lot of more hours in that, but we working on that too. So once I get them hours down, what I'm be, what I'm doing is building an official health school all around school. I've been keeping it quiet until I got all of my degrees. And since I got most of them in, I'm loud with it now, but we've been working silently for a minute now. So you can get all of them with me now and tell, uh, but, the, uh, but the biochemistry. But I'm going to give you a site where you can go on and you can do a free biochemistry lesson and they will actually give you a, a certification, but it's not going to be official. And you can go through hard Harvard University to do that. So just go through your Harvard University, check out the uh, EDX classes. They should have a free biochemistry course. Brother, look at me. It's one of the hardest damn courses in life. Man. <laughs> and you talking about a person, you talk about a person with a biochemistry course, but I love the way it really challenged me though. It challenged my mind and everything. Uh, it's yeah. a bunch of stuff in there that's pretty, pretty academic where you're going to, where you're going to disagree with learning how we learn from ourselves. Mm. But so you're going to, it's going to be a lot of indoctrination in there. Just stay true to self, though, because yeah. you're going to start swapping a bunch of information. That's the only thing that I've been running into with this information. Where I'd be having to talk to Nabi all the time, like, man, I had a, this is what I say, not being racist, but I'm like, damn, I just had a white man moment because yeah. it'll, it'll bring you back into academia and then you forget all the clinical trials and all the experiments that you did yourself that brought a different outcome. Mm -hmm. So always stay true to, true to you, your own work, and what you believe to be true and what you have proven because you will mix their doctrine with yours and you will start sounding like them and you will forget you did research that produced a different outcome from them mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying yeah, so just make sure you be make sure you be careful yeah, with that but uh like, so harvard is... university go in there and take that free class brother i'll be in it man you know what i mean, mean this is all self-study you know what i'm saying we're gonna build a whole army, all self-study man and um just just, just type it in man i, brother, I told myself powerful, you know you brother I just look at it like you know, yours you, for where you at right now, your age, man. I feel like I'm I'm in that that bracket of my age, bro. I'm 24. And I'm trying to. You 24. 24 and, I'm 35. Yeah. If you keep this up, you will be better than me. You see what I'm saying? You will be better than me at 35. You will yeah, be man, better trying, than me, man. brother. And that's I'm what trying, that's what man. it's about, man. Yeah, we gotta I, outdo. We gotta outdo each other. You know what I'm saying? Any anybody that any of my students that's not better than me by the time they get my age, that mean I failed as a teacher. Man, I you, failed. You you've done impeccable work, man. Like impeccable work, and I just salute you for what you're doing. And I, you know, I'm built bulking up on the herbs, and I want to do want to just follow that path. That's the path that I feel like God's giving me. Keep it up, yeah. God. Uh, I want you. I want you to be a part of our mentorship program. Uh, me and I be a starting a mentorship program. I would love for you to be a part of it, bro. You 24. You young. Yeah. You with it. Your mind. Now be come holler in real quick. Tell them how to reach out to you. I want you to be a part of our program. We kicking. We actually kicking a program off at the in the uh, middle of February. And uh, this is my. Uh,
a manager, my my personal yeah. assistant. He do everything for me, man. He organize everything, and he gonna be reaching out to so, me. Yeah, bro. I'm I'll be, I, I've been hearing about y'all, man. I, man, I, I I stay too. I see more well, y'all key live, man. I'm tapping in. You know, what I'm saying the farm, everything y'all been doing, and just how you guys represent the the two man, the team. It's it's important, and you as an OG, you know, being able to just facilitate every just what y'all doing man it's, it's amazing and i think that it's a great it's just it's just a great thing man let's build bro let's build let's, let's build for sure for sure man I, I, you need any help out there man yeah man i need your information i'm, I'm and i'm gonna reach out to you, you. Get it. My, give, me your, my, get your call. give me your um ig information okay it's official markel m-a-r-k-e-l-l j j-a-y yeah that's gonna be no, he can be a part of the uh, program. Okay. All right. And that's official Markel J. Yep. All right. And that's it. All right. I'm going to reach out to you. Now be used okay. to you in just a few minutes. Got gotcha. you. All right. I'm sure Nisha going to send it to me. I hit my phone. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, Nabi, they on you. They say, Nabi look good. <laughs> These women in this kind hey, of man. going on you, Nabi. You and that gorilla mix. You, <laughs> I'm, I'm, on that, I'm on that gorilla mix too, man. As soon as it come out, because. I was a D2 athlete and you know, I, I'm I'm still in shape. You know, I'm still trained heavy, man. So I definitely would love to see how that goes. All right, let's do it, brother, man. Stay up on it. I'll be gonna reach out to you, man. Let's let's build it, man. Yeah, let's build, build, I, see man. The, I see what the creator doing, man. Uh I just put a big old post out there and talked about all the the backlash and all the faking that was going on in the healing community and how we need to stop that shit. And then this live and I just see how it's coming together, man. Like I think I think I want to put together like a big old seminar with all the healers. I just want to yeah. come together and show the world, you know what I'm saying? Like that we can we can do this together without hating each other and without having competition. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stuff like that. So we coming up with something, brother. We're gonna link you up presenting it the perfect way, man. And um I think it's just it's just showing where your heart's at. It's when you when your heart's in the pure frequency and vibration, that's what emanates out. So that's exactly what you represent. And I think that, you know, you're 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 a legend, man. I appreciate you, know you brother. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Shouts out to you. I'll talk to you soon, all right? Yeah, for sure. All right, peace, King. Peace Listen. That just gave me the fuel I need tonight for the gym. That's what I needed. I needed to hear that. I just got my fuel from the gym, y'all. I end up leaving my gorilla uh my gorilla mixed muscle up at the house. Yeah, we left. I left, I left the gorilla mix, but that young brother just gave me, he just gave me the seminar I need to, to, to do my workout when I get off this live. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do more. Yes, yes, y'all. Uh, I want to put together, I want to put together a healing conference where I bring out other healers, y'all. It's time to do dump something different in the community where y'all don't see us bashing each other all the time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I usually don't listen to other healers, but lately, you know, me and I be been searching for them and looking through everybody's stuff, and we've been finding some good people, you know, that's, that speak some good information. Even if I disagree with them, I see that their intentions is good. They're not out here killing people with the information. They're not having pissing contests. They're doing their thing, you know what I'm saying, and they and they, they don't have to shit on nobody else to do their thing, and them the ones that I want uh, on stage with me, man. Straight up. That's that's who I want to link up with, man. I see, and I'm seeing these healers, and I'm seeing these brothers and sisters, and it's like it's time for us to come together. Trying to form the Power Ranger team. Right. And I think it'd be dope. We all coming from different ideologies, but we all got the same intentions. I'm spitting what I'm spitting. You spitting what I'm spitting. You know, everybody can come and get what they need from the info and take it and then apply it. And how you, how you get healed is how you get healed from it. There's many different ways. I don't like saying to skin the cat, but there's many different met methodologies to healing mind, body, spirit, and soul. But we got to start showing the community something different than all of this gossiping, lying, pointing the finger at each other and trying to make each other look bad and talk down on each other. Like, that shit got to stop immediately. So we're going to put together a big old healing conference, y'all. That's what we're doing. That's that's my word. I'm going to do one more. We're going to get up out of here. All right, I'm going to scroll with this one. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. Man, KT Arch Degree. Uh, I, I done spoke to him several times. That's my boy. Uh, Dr. Bobby Price. Uh, man, I've been listening to his stuff lately. You know what I'm saying? I, I like how he come. He come from a more, you know, uh, laid back standpoint. He not he not a real radical. So, like, he can talk to a different crowd of people. So, uh, Dr. Bobby Price, KT Arch Degree, that's my dude right there. I love I love the way he spit. He more of a he more of a spaz on me. He hit you with something. He he pretty dope. Uh man, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of herbalists out here. I'm not the only herbalist, y'all. It's a bunch of us out here. And a lot of us got good intentions. Unfortunately, it's just 
It's just a, a one little handful of Negroes that just act like cockroaches. And, you know, they just act like vampires and they, they want clout and they want fame and, and it's messing with their head. But I believe once they see all of us come together, I believe it's going to stop, though. Or, you know, the, the, the creator got a way of sizzling people out. You know what I'm saying? The creator got a way of, of moving unrighteous people out of the fold. And I think when the righteous minds, the collective come together, you know what I'm saying? The weak, the weak and the evil ain't got no choice but to fall. So yeah, shouts out to KT Arts Degree. Shouts out to uh, Dr. Bobby Price. Shouts out to anybody that's out here healing the people. Or sp in speaking good intentions over the people. All right. Well, we, yeah, we, I'm going to do one more, y'all. Where y'all at? I guess it ain't going to let me take no more because I don't see the lot add to button. Can you see me? Oh, you is on her? Well, yeah, yeah. God, I don't even see you. I hear you, oh, but I don't see you. Oh, okay. No, I was, um, it's showing my face on mine, so I don't know why not. It's not showing you. <laughs> That's crazy. I straight do not see you. Hold on, let me try to go out. Oh, okay. I don't see you, but go ahead. Talk to me. What's up with you, goddess? Um, mine is about, like, pulsation. I've been having, like, pulsation in the chest and neck and my throat. And I think it's dealing with, like, I know for a fact it's dealing with, I need magnesium. I know that for a fact. You and I think I need to super, flush out the... Bad. Can you hear me? I can. No, you breaking up super, so you sound like a robot. You want me to um leave out and come back? Nope, you sound good now, I hear you. Okay. I said I was dealing with, like, pulsations in the throat and in the neck. Mm -hmm. Well, in my chest, too. I know okay. it's dealing with like magnesium. I'm low on magnesium. Yep. Um, I am low magnesium, and you have too much calcium, so it's causing a, a vasal constriction of the arteries. And that, uh -huh. that vasal constriction is so hard that you will hear that. It's kind of like you can hear it in your yeah. ear. So, yeah, I can hear it. The, so that's the sinoatrium, too, of your heart. Mm -hmm. And it's an actual part in your brain, too. So if you get more magnesium into your system, though, that'll fix that problem. And it's funny you called in, but you already know how to fix the problem. Yeah, but I was just like, what? My thing is, I know, because I study the body very, very well. Um, but yeah. my thing is, I didn't know exactly what herbs are, what exactly I need to take to flush out the body, to cleanse the body. Because I eat natural naturally already i eat natural fruits natural vegetables i don't do the milk um i if i do like a pack of me to last me um i got fish in the refrigerator or the freezer right now it'll last me almost a whole month it'll take me a month maybe even two months to eat it so mm -hmm. i know i don't really eat meat at all mm -hmm. i know my body can't even handle the meat um i listen to my body and things like that i eat a lot of fruits a lot of vegetables a lot of water you, um i even got a garden you breaking up again so look, hear me? since you're breaking up, if you can hear me, I'm going to just tell you what you need to do. Okay. So what, what you need to do is you need to, so dark leafy greens, most of your dark leafy greens are very, very high in uh, magnesium. So I will do dark leafy greens. I'll make sure that I'm eating at least, at least a plate of those a day, dark leafy greens. If you can, get mm -hmm. you some micro greens and put them on top of that. Also your fruits, your fruits, more of your melons have a bunch of magnesium in them as well. So make sure that you incorporate melons, whether it's honeydew melon, whether it's watermelon, whether it's cantaloupe, whether any of your melons, get your bitter melon, papaya is a melon, make sure you're getting your melons in as well. Squashes, squashes have a bunch of magnesium in it as well. And then I can't talk about the sweet potato enough. The sweet potato okay. is a freaking superfood. I'm telling you. Okay. Just, you know, put yeah, rub it down, rub it down with some extra virgin olive oil, cut it open and cut it open and put it in the oven and just let it do its baking thing. Put some rosemary, some cilantro and some basil and stuff on it and eat it that way. That is full of potassium and full of magnesium as well. Also, it's a bunch of magnesium actually in your spring water, oh, but you have to get okay. natural spring water. So make sure you increase your spring water. Uh, what I would do is probably about 20 ounces of spring water a day, and then I would do 25 ounces of the geogenetic juice a day. That's okay. what I would do if I was you. And All then right, what thanks. about your 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 detoxes because i've seen now, you had a lot which one would next. i so, which one is the best one for that the cardio the cardiovascular kit 
The okay. cardiovascular kit off the website will do good for you. And the reason why is because it's going to remove all the buildup calcium that's inside of the uh, vascular system or the artery or venous walls. It's going to automatically get uh, rid of that. Uh, it got a bunch of magnesium and iron phosphate in it, so it's going to bring a bunch of oxygen, and that's going to allow not only vial uh, 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 dilation to the actual artery walls, but you're going to get rid of all the stagnation and any calcification that's on the artery walls. And it's going to relax that heart, too, where you don't have that strong beat that's in that pulsation right. to the to the uh, sinoatrium anyway. So it'll be the cardiovascular kit with the diet that I just recommended you, with that water, that liquid intake I just recommended you. That's what I would do. Now I got a question. Are you getting any heart palpitations from it or uh, anxiety or panic yeah. attacks from what you got going on? Yeah, well, I've been having that since I was young. So, so want, that's something I've been dealing with since I was young. I want you to check that thyroid too. It might be a, th a, a underlining thyroid issue as well. And you might be missing aldine. So I want you to check your thyroid. And if your thyroid numbers are low, just start incorporating more sea vegetables. Get you some nori, get you some kelp, get you some dose, you know, uh, get you some sea moss and get you some bladder rack. And just every now and then throughout the day, eat you some of them things too. That way you're getting the efficiency, the efficient amount of actual aldine into the system to help regulate your, your metabolic, uh, your metabolic functioning okay okay i was just I'm, i mean i just didn't know exactly which one to take because i was going back from blum what's that called um black seed oil i was taking different stuff to flush out the body no um so you, black, seed, black seed oil is more of a stimulant than a flusher mm -hmm. don't get me wrong black seed oil is amazing especially when it comes to certain different organs in the body, but black seed oil is very, very hard and heavy on the liver. So just make mm. sure you be careful with it. Same thing when it comes to cilantro oil and it comes to oregano oil. They're very, very hard and heavy on the liver. So we got to be careful when it comes to, you know, ingesting that and taking it every single day. Uh, go go with what I told you to go with, and I think you'll be very, very good. And then test out those seed vegetables and those seed herbs as well. Uh, they'd be okay. very good for you as well. I have and that's what you need. And I think one more question, if you don't mind answering um i have a nephew who he went through chemo and cancer and things like that he's mm -hmm. trying to he's heal his in. skin he's he's trying to heal his skin and i told him it takes time it's not gonna you know work overnight to heal the face and the skin because the skin is changing you know different colors and things like that his doctor was telling him you know he's consistently losing weight and he's like i don't know what to that's, do that's or, the yeah yeah. So chemotherapy burns the cells. Mm -hmm. Chemotherapy dehydrates the body. Chemotherapy melts the liver, which is going to mess with the bilirubin and change the color of the skin. Chemotherapy, it literally kills the nervous system, which makes all the hair fall out. And yeah. it suppresses appetite, which yeah. keeps you from being yeah. hungry. So you don't want to eat. Yeah, so you never want to eat. When you remove chemotherapy, you got to do it real slow because you can really harm the person by putting them on a heavy detoxification and pulling all of that mustard gas from the deep tissue and the interstitial fluid. So the best thing to do when somebody just suffers from chemotherapy is to put them on a all fruit diet. Now it's some, it's some, it's some vegetables, so it's all fruit and vegetables, but the vegetables mm -hmm. is going to be a part of the brassica uh, cruciferous family. Uh -huh. Soferifane, broccoli sprouts. Anybody that been through any type of chemotherapy any client of mine, I always put them on broccoli sprouts because you have something called glucoraphanin, you have uh -huh. something called sulforaphane, and these things are, are, are very, very good by opening up new metabolic pathways of the cells and pulling chemotherapy from the cells and, and getting them to the lymph nodes without them destroying other cells. Yeah. You can look this up, y'all. Y'all can just look up chemotherapy, uh, radiation detoxification through glucoraphanin and sulforaphane. The first thing that's going to pop up over over 10 to 12 different uh, scholarly uh, articles, articles, uh, scientific articles talk about broccoli sprouts. Broccoli sprouts remove chemotherapy more than soursop. Okay, so, yeah, because he was taking a lot of that, um, the soursop. Even I did, um, me and him when I was out there, because I'm from Cali, all my family out there, mm -hmm. but me and him was doing like the aloe, because I know aloe berries give um, oxygen to the body, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. dealing with the cells, so yeah. I was just like, well, you know, eat a lot of berries, drink your aloe, but when he was in the hospital, you know, they're going to tell him where it is, they want him to go, so they was telling him, 
You know, don't eat the berries. That's bad for you. Don't no. take the aloe. And he was scared. He His mom was scared. Berries. And I'm like, you need he that, need you know. Berries yeah. are oxygenators. He need those. Aloe vera is an oxygenator. He can use yeah. that. Uh, uh, water can be a very, very good oxygenator if it's pure and if it's clean. He can use that. All cancer is is when the body is deprived of oxygen in the first place and have to go an anaerobic route. And it, and it, it makes basically causes the cells to adapt and then a mutation takes form and this is where you get the tumors from. So do everything I told you. We'll tell him to do everything I just said and, and get that chemo out. And then once that chemotherapy right. is out of him, then we can start the healing process. But it's impossible to heal when you have chemotherapy, mustard gas, uh, derivatives inside of your bloodstream. I'm, yeah. I'm just letting you know that now. So you he's to scared the to go outside. First. They're yeah. telling him, don't even go in the sun. And yeah, I'm cause like... Because chemotherapy makes you allergic to the yeah, sun. Yeah, that's what I was telling my sister. I'm like, you got to slowly get him off of that. And they just, you know, paranoid, trusting in them. You know, they trust both. They do both, but they still paranoid because they not doing their research. So I told them, I said, you got to slowly take your time. And mm -hmm. they just in a paranoid type of mindset. Got you. I got yeah. You. So look, let's. Get them healed, man. Stay on them. Keep doing what you're doing. And, uh, you know, make sure you send out some good affirmations and prayers for them. Stay right. on top of them. And, and let's get them healed on up. All right. Thank you. All right. Peace, love, light, and healing to you. All right. You too. So, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's put together a massive conference, man. Some, uh, some of the best healers, the ones that got, you know, the ones that's out here really doing some work and they got good intentions. So, we're going to hit up uh, uh, Bobby Price. We're going to hit up KT, uh, I got a, I just got T Walk. I got T Walk number today. I need to call him. Get T Walk on the line. Yeah, we finna build the Avengers team. I've been talking about it for a couple years. It's time to do it. But look, y'all, peace, love, light, and healing. I love y'all. Uh, it's time to bring peace to the conscious community. It's time to bring peace to the healing community. It's time to bring peace to the whole entire melanated community. We is looking bad out here. We we looking like monkeys and ass fools out here other communities looking at us and shaking their head man and you know uh i feel like if ain't nobody else gonna be the the example and take and take lead and charge i am so it is what it is so uh i love all my healers i love all my brothers and sisters i don't got no beef uh well i'd be lying if i said i ain't had no beef for nobody because i do <laughs> but i love all of y'all though so peace love light and healing peace of the guys peace to the earth i'm gonna be live again tomorrow uh, doing the same thing, be live all week. Uh, yeah, Dr. Yaki, Rafael Elohim, you know, Awaken PhD, biochemist, you know what I'm saying, certified nutrition. So, man, I got so many certifications that we getting up there, man. We got our own accredited school. I graduate April the 19th. April 19th, well, no, the 20th is graduation, 19th is the all right, I graduate April the 20th in L.A. We're making a flyer. Make sure y'all be there to support me. I'm getting a building that can hold at least 5,000 people because, you know, I bring everybody out. And, man, look, we're doing our seminar. We're doing our premiere. We doing we do, Y'all going to be able to work out with me. We're doing a three-day event in L.A. So, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be April 19th, 20th, and 21st. So the flyers will be up soon. Hey, look, let's build. Peace, love, light, and healing. Peace of the gods. Peace of the earth. Peace.